Hi everybody, I did my weighing results video the other day and I was really, really pleased. I lost five and a half pounds this week, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I am using a weight loss coach at the moment and it was so good that she's actually put my calories up. <laughs> so um, we are aiming for fat loss rather than weight loss. So when Kelly first started talking about this, I was thinking, what's she on about? She did explain and it did make sense. So the difference between fat loss and weight loss is with fat loss, you're literally just losing the fat. But with weight loss, you lose a lot more. So you lose the fat, you lose water, but you also lose muscle mass. Um, and when I sat and thought about it, I thought I know exactly what she's talking about. This is my before and after. So at my heaviest, I was 31 stone. I was clinically obese um, and I lost from that picture to this after picture. Um, I am about 11 stone 12, 11 stone 13 in the after. And as you can see, there was literally nothing on me. My arms were like ridiculously small. Got excess skin, but literally there was nothing on my arms. No muscle whatsoever. So I lost muscle mass and everything. So I totally understand what she's talking about. So I'm losing weight far too quickly. So she has increased my calories. My calories were 2,200 a day and my... um protein goal was 165 grams it is now 2400 calories a day and my protein goal is 180 grams so she has increased it slightly she did message me this morning actually and went how's the increase in calories going and i went it's a chore but i'm managing it <laughs> the other day when i did my results video I totally forgot the bit that i am most proud of um, and it may seem a bit silly but i'm really really proud of this i use the fit track scales these are them and they are linked to an app. This is the box. So that's what they look like. Um, and they are linked to an app on my phone, which is brilliant. And it comes up with loads. They've got loads of stats on there. I'll pop the link to their website in the description. And if you use the code Arnold20, you get 20% off. So there are loads and loads of stats. But the ones that I care about is obviously my health score, which is still quite low. But... It's going up a smidge, so that's good. So that's my health score. The ones that I care about are the weight, obviously. That is coming down nicely. Body water is increasing. It's still low, but it is increasing. Uh, BMI is going down. Body fat percentage is going down. Subcutaneous fat is going down a smidge, but I'm still very high, obviously. Um, muscle rate. Mm. <laughs> and the bit that I am most proud of this week um, is the visceral fat so that is my graph from my visceral fat and i am now in standard i was in high for absolutely ages now it may seem a little bit silly um especially bearing in mind that at my heaviest i was 31 stone so that would have been way off the chart absolutely way off the chart but now it's actually in standard and i was really proud this week one thing that I'm really proud of. So your visceral fat is the fat that is located deep within your ab abdomen um, and it surrounds your organs, your vital organs. Um, and when you've got a lot of this, you increase risk of developing chronic um, health conditions. So I was just really proud of that this week. That's all I wanted to say. I did mean to say it the other day and I did write it down. I just totally forgot. Got sidetracked. Just witter away with me. Um, so, yeah. That's where I am this week. Um, still not feeling 100%. Felt really quite well on Monday. Felt a little bit better because I had a virus a few weeks ago and it's totally knocked me off my feet. It's absolutely exhausted me. Um, but Tuesday, no, exactly the same. I was back, came back with a vengeance. Went to have bloods done because uh, my GP, phoned my GP and went, there's something not right. So he went, okay, then we'll do your bloods. Then we'll do a full blood count, we'll do your thyroid um and something else he refused to do the perimenopausal ones um but yeah he said oh we'll do this this and this so i was like okay then turned up to have bloods i've never had a problem having bloods done before ever normally whack it in and it's done i've got really good veins veins are absolutely fine the other day she had no problem finding them could she get blood no never had that before so she put it in one vein she managed to get a little bit out of that but not enough um then she tried another one three times in both arms she even tried a smaller needle literally nothing i was pumping my arms 
I was like holding it down. Nothing come out. So she had to rebook me. I was like, oh God, never had that before. So yeah, still have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to have to wait another week and a bit before I can have my bloods done and then hopefully see if there's anything wrong. There probably is nothing bloody wrong with my blood. That's the problem. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm just really proud of that. And I did mean to mention it and I totally forgot. So I thought I would. Because yeah, I'm, obviously I'm really proud of my weight loss altogether. But that I was particularly proud of. Anyway, I hope everybody is safe and well. Please take care of yourselves. See you later. Goodbye.